This box might just be one of the best air filtering devices for the money, but I'm sure you want to know. What the hell is that? The Corzy Rosenthal box uses carbon filters and a box fan to help keep your air clean and more affordable than those air purification systems on the market. This is an upgrade to that old tape of air filter to the back of a box fan hack that you've seen for years. It was first used to reduce viruses in the pandemic. They were also used in California to help remove dust and smoke during the wildfires. They were affordable and they were portable and they worked above their dollar value. Some studies show that they actually work better than actual HEPA air filters. I'm gonna use it because I like a good cigar and sometimes being outside can be unbearable. It'll turn my relaxing cigar into a battle with the bugs. Exhibit A. After that night, I was gonna go straight to buying a rabbit air, but I thought I'd look towards a DIY solution. That's when I stumbled upon the Corzy Rosenthal box. It's used for airborne virus removal, woodworking, welding, painting, wildfire smoke. It's used in classrooms, doctor's office, dentist's office, general application. It's got a ton of applications, so I thought I'd give it a shot. One thing I didn't see was anybody using it for cigars, so I thought I'd be the guy to give it a shot. It seemed like a fun project, and if it didn't work, I had some other solutions that I could try as well. I'll also include some links in the description on some background information, research, some of the science behind it, other designs, and just additional information. But don't spend too much time looking at that stuff. Just go out and build one. It shouldn't take too long. There are tons of different designs out there, but the basic design is a box fan with the airflow pointing to the ceiling and four to five box fans duct taped around it. The key to this is using a 20 inch box fan and 20 by 20 air furnace filters. I use the two inch, but you can use the one inch too. That works just fine. I recommend at least MERV 13 and something with carbon granules if you're gonna use it for the same reason I am but you can use it based on your needs. I've seen people build them in 3D frames, build 3D printed housings for them, but I'm just gonna use plain old duct tape with my daughter as an assistant. It was a fun, quick project on a Saturday. I also added four 36 inch dowels to keep it off the floor so I can move it easily, and I'm using the five filter design so it gives it more airflow to work with. I decided not to go with the fan shroud that you see, but I did have to go to the store and get more duct tape. All in all, it cost me a little over $200 to build, but prices may vary depending on cost of materials. But you can cut the cost if you change the filters, go with the four filter design, remove the dowels, and do a different box fan. You can probably get it right about 100 bucks, and if you look out there hard enough, you can probably find a box fan pretty cheap, and that'll get you even under 100 bucks. I'll put the links in the description for my build and the budget build. While the links will help the channel a little bit, I do recommend that you look locally for the fan and the dowels to help cut that cost. Compared to the Rabbit Air minus A2, that's around 550, and the Air Doctors 3000, that's a little over 630, that's a significant savings. At this point, I've used it about six months and I've been impressed. It won't eliminate the smoke as soon as you're done, but nothing will. What I do is when we're done, I let it run overnight for a few hours and when I wake up, the garage is deemed clear by my wife and my daughter who have a strong sense of smell. I have, I've used it by myself and with up to four people and it works great. Is it 100%? No, but it's a great, perfect DIY solution and it's impressive, especially for the cost. Based on my use, I probably recommend around six months in between changing the filters, but your time may vary depending on how much you use it. It's loud for what it is. For my headphone people, Turn the volume down in. It comes in about 68 to 73 decibels, depending on what settings you're looking at. That's higher than the Rabbit Air, which is 20 to about, I think, 46, and the Air Doctor, which is 39 to 59 decibels. So it's significantly louder than both of those. Different box fans can help with the noise, but it's still louder than the other two. I usually have on noise canceling headphones when I'm by myself, but if I have more than one person with me, I'll just turn it down low while we're in the room, and then when everybody leaves, I'll just turn it all the way up. Initial setup is easy for what it is, but you'll have to go through that same setup every time you need to change the filters. It's not as simple as just pulling a latch and popping the filters out and changing them. So you have to keep that, that in mind. The size is a little big for what you get. So if you have a small space, you wanna keep that in mind. Some people mount them on ceilings and stuff like that, but still 
you got to keep a mind out for the space. One thing to keep in mind is that I have broken some of the cardboard that frames the filter, but that's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt performance or anything. There's no remote control to turn it on and off compared to some of the other units that you'll buy out there. I kind of got to work around with that with the smart plug, but that doesn't control changing the settings. It only just turns it on and off. So keep that in mind. Another thing I've noticed that when it's either raining or if it's humid outside, there's a slight smoky smell that comes in the room. But once everything clears out, it kind of works itself out and it's not a big deal anymore. It was fun. It worked. I definitely recommend giving it a shot if you're into some DIY air filtration in your house. Now that I'm up for a change of filter, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it again or go to one of my other DIY solutions. The good thing about it is if I change my mind, I can just buy more filters. I've already got the box fan and I can do it again. Let me know if you try one and tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any questions in the comments. Check out the videos on the screen if you want to see more EDC and EDC related content and see how I use my EDC in day to day life. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.